All right, where are we? We are at the dealership because we knew our Bronco has arrived. <laughs> it's raining now, so that's why we were <laughs> we're wearing a hat. Our other baby has arrived and we've got rain. We're excited enough to come here in the rain, but hey, we get a rainbow, it's a good sign. Yeah, and we have a lot of stuff to look at because we have another Bronco here. Yeah, that's not ours, but uh, why are we... I love we... the color. <laughs> this is a bittersweet moment, isn't it? Because we've had to say goodbye to something. You want to explain that while we walk towards the vehicles? <laughs> yeah, I needed to say goodbye to the Maverick to welcome the Bronco. So yesterday I was sad. <laughs> I was not crying, but I was really, really sad to leave the Maverick. But now that I uh, will see the Bronco for the first time, I guess I, I won't be sad anymore. <laughs> yes, we had to say bye to the Maverick uh, because Ma anyways, Maverick resale prices are incredible. It's a long wait to get a Maverick, but it's a wait that pays off if you sell. These things not only just hold their value, right now they're worth, even if they're used, they're worth over MSRP. Uh, uh, we would have kept it. Marie wanted to keep the Maverick for years, but here's the new one and this, it's all this Bronco's fault that we had to sell the Maverick. It's beautiful. <laughs> it is really beautiful. Do you prefer the red or the green? Uh, with the lights, we see a little gold in it. I think I prefer this one. All right. That's two tones. That's good because I gave my word that I would take this vehicle. I did expect it to take a year or about a year to get in and it came in we ordered it March 30th 2023 and it came in because well the dealership I bought from a dealership my dealership there were no orders left so the dealership had allotments and no orders so Ford figured if they're gonna build a customer's order well I got a wild track just the same it also really helps that I didn't take the hard, hard top that's a big secret to getting these things Hard top's a much longer wait. The last time we ordered a hard top, wild track, it took a year. Now let's check that color again. So yeah, Marie had to, no choice. We gave our word that we would take that Bronco. There's a name match system at Ford. And if a dealer doesn't sell to the customer they ordered from, they lose out in the future. They lose out an allotment. So if they don't get the right customer, they lose an allotment. So dealers that are trying to sell over MSRP, and are willing to lose customers, well, they're gonna lose out. Ford is punishing them, so that's the good news. I'm happy that Ford's punishing people, but I gave my word, so I had the option to either lose 38,000 on my Lightning 511, because wholesale and the Lightning is poor right now, quite poor, especially when you consider that prices just dropped by $10,000, so we'd lose 38,000 if we traded in the Lightning, which was the original plan, with a much longer wait expected for that Bronco. But that's why, Marie... I needed to say bye to the Maverick, but I'm happy now because the Bronco is really my uh, best car ever. Yeah. So I'm not sad to, uh, to see it back. In between making, we love the Maverick Hybrid. It was an incredible machine. Mm -hmm. We had even bought all sorts of accessories, a $1,600 roll-up cover. What else did you buy for that Maverick? Uh, the the mats. Yeah. And the door sills, why I bought you the door sills. Yeah, and we had the letter uh, at the back of the tailgate. Yeah, the lettering the back of the tailgate that we really liked. We had a hybrid XLT luxury package. Yeah. That thing, we both find it drove great. The handling was fantastic. The seats are comfortable, and people said to me when they entered my car that it was, was really comfortable too. I really love the hybrid. This one is only fuel. Ouch, but three I times like the drive. I love the drive. Three times more fuel in the Bronco. <laughs> now let's cover another topic. Which Bronco do you think is better? You've got the Badlands right here. You know it's my favorite. <laughs> I know people really love Wild Track. I will, uh, I will have time to appreciate it and know, know that model. But the Badlands was uh, our first Bronco, and I guess it's because of that I love it. It's more off-roading uh, with the feature with the stabilizer, stabilizer bar disconnect. And I really love the mags on the Badlands. That, that's my favorite. So you know how I don't love the look of the Sasquatch mag? This one is my favorite for, for sure. And it has Bilstein, and that is pronounced correctly, Bilstein shocks, which are fantastic on this. But the Wild Track, I know you don't know this, but I'm letting you know, it has what's called Haas 
3.0. So it's, let's say, three quarters of the way to a Bronco Raptor. And I would have loved a Bronco Raptor, but Bronco Raptors, they get one per dealership per year or zero or maybe huge dealerships. Some might get three or four, but we're only getting one. So we let that go to a new customer who's never owned a Bronco. And since we've been Bronco spoiled, we didn't steal away that allocation and we bought the Bronco when there were no allocations. I prefer the look of the wild track than the Raptor in the way, so. uh, And another thing that I love about the Badlands is the uh, vinyl grade, the uh, marine, marine vinyl grade? Marine grade. <laughs> marine grade vinyl? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Because uh, it's easy to clean. You're not afraid if you uh, had water on it, if you forget your top open and it's raining. So. To me, it's the best seat ever <laughs> with kids, with uh, just if you forget something and it rains in the car. <laughs> with kids, which is on the way, which yeah. <laughs> the Maverick, you're a little worried about the baby sit seat. It was going to fit, but you're going to have to be ducking down into there. And with the weight of a child yeah. and my bad back, which I injured back in 2008, mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't have been great for me. This, the perfect height to put the seat without having your back like that. and. Uh, I have, uh, have trouble uh, at the, the bottom of the back, yeah. <laughs> so that's why I'm happy to, uh, to see a Bronco again in a lot. So this is what they look like when they come off the transport. That's not a great... S We've done other videos really <laughs> showing the inside of these vehicles. We don't have the keys yet because, well, it's the weekend. This whole dealership's closed, as I think it's great that dealerships are closed on the weekend. So you can have more experienced sales guys because honestly who with a family is willing to work saturday and sunday that's so much anyway people can go on the week <laughs> but it's it's open at night it's open nights it's open at night that's that's fine like that so we'll know monday night we'll see more monday night hopefully we can still do a live but let's go check out this wild track now the big difference here you don't get stabilizer bar disconnect but you do get haas 3.0 and that's by Fox with an internal by, external bypass. So huge suspension. The shock really is bigger than what you're getting over on the Bilstein. Now, the only thing is the Badlands has tires that are LT and they're three peak snowflake rated. So you can drive them year round. Whereas we're gonna have to, we already have winter tires, Nokian winter tires that are gonna fit on this from our last build. I ordered with these bad boys right here so marie can easily get in a, in and out yeah now, you know what i really love it the look of it uh yeah i think it's a it's a plus for the the wild track that the badlands doesn't have i really love that i could have ordered the badlands with that most likely but the badlands come with rock sliders mm -hmm. and we you know you know how i like having the big tires and the lift but that's going to be real useful for you getting in and out. That's because I was yeah. thinking of you right there. And it's adding a great look at the, on the Bronco. Now, what else? You want to come see the front, see what else I ordered? <laughs> Let's see how you like that. Oh, wow. So that bumper, I know you it's like your bumper. gloss bl grills. Yeah. So basically here you've got the Badlands. You said your, the Badlands was your favorite grill, but you hadn't seen a wild track in person. Yeah. so. Have a big holes in it, so I prefer that kind of look. Did you say big hose or big holes? Holes. Holes. Yeah, you yeah. got to pronounce the L. <laughs> I, I was thinking I was pronouncing it, but here's a, a little uh, bit of a sound <laughs> that covering my when I speak. So the bumper is all steel. Yeah. So I don't suggest you kick that. You'll hurt your foot. <laughs> now these caps at the end, you can take them off. You can take this section right here off to help clear rocks to get a better approach angle for this side of the vehicle. But then guess what? You're not protected up here. Yeah. So you don't have anything stopping a rock if you're in real trouble. You've got wider fenders. You can really see that. Yeah, the fenders are a lot wider. And I love that uh, you have a little black in, on the hood. You, you never, uh, your, your grade two love of your stickers from elementary school never went away. You still love your stickers? I didn't love the stickers you put on the blue Bronco, the first one. <laughs> it was orange. No. We got photos <laughs> of you tearing those it. off, don't we? <laughs> yeah, you, you got right up on top of the tire, two feet on the tire, and you won't do that now that you're pregnant, but you're just no. pulling off those stickers. Real but happy to do this so. One, I love it. <laughs> you love that? Yeah. 
Yeah, let's check that out. We'll get more photos on our Instagram. So check out our Instagram account. We'll get more photos of the full build here on Instagram at Johnny's Car Care and reviews also over on Facebook. So yeah, our build, wild track. So of course we wanted the 2.7 liter V6. We absolutely love that engine. The 2.3 is a very good engine, but I do like the fact that this is both direct injection and port injection. Helps me sleep a little better at night in regards to carbon buildup. Now this just got off transport and oh, guess guess I'm happy to be here so that no ho no hobos, no one sleeps in the vehicle tonight. It's it's unlocked, so what? I do not uh, let the system alarm uh, start. Huh? Jump right in. I'm not sure I want to go in. I'm afraid that the alarm will go. Uh, There's no alarm. Okay. It wasn't locked. Oh my god. <laughs> Transporters, don't forget to lock your vehicles. <laughs> Without the hat. <laughs> Okay, so we got an electric seat. You like that? You want to bring it home? <laughs> so we got a high package. And you got a nice big screen there. You got the leather. We chose leather. And now all wild tracks, big change for models built as of July 17th. They'll all have the leather interior. Marie, you officially prefer vinyl grade. I officially prefer yeah. leather. Uh, I love the fact that we can lock the front and rear def diff. You also got have the button here. You press that button right there, and you're, you and you turn the steering wheel. So this is how you use it. If you want to do a really sharp turn, and this thing already has an incredible turning radius. Mm -hmm. You've always loved. You've always complained. Every other vehicle, you'll say <laughs> it doesn't have the turning radius yeah, of the Bronco. Yeah, it's easy to park, and I miss that a lot. <laughs> so how it works? If you're on a trail, you just Hit the button right there. It's going to lock the one of the rear wheels. And how you decide which wheel, the rear wheel it locks, you either turn completely to the right. And when you get to the very end, it's going to kind of feel a little bit like a click. You're going to feel a bit of something. You're going to hear a little bit of something. And then you know your back right wheel, passenger wheel, is locked. And then when it's locked, of course, when you go to do your turn, you're going to turn. It's going to stay in position. And you're going to turn like you've never turned before. Great for when you want to make it around a corner in one movement. So, we made a good choice. Yeah, I love the smell of the new car. <laughs> you're, you're pretty used to that yeah. new car smell. I miss that. <laughs> and you've got the perfect height for a baby seat. Yeah. Lots of space in the back. Let's check out the back seat on these four-door Broncos. Lots of back seat. Why don't you climb back in there to demonstrate the back seat space. Tons of space. Marie is one tall lady. And you've got... We have a lot of space. It's comfortable. Yeah, so with the baby seat, it will be the, the, the good height. That's perfect. Perfect. You cannot complain. <laughs> nope. And the back, that's the thing I love about these. I love a, four, a Jeep 4XE. A plug-in Jeep, I think, is fantastic. Lots of torque. But you'll always get a much better ride quality much more comfort out of the Bronco and you've got more trunk space and I mean a lot more trunk space and a Jeep two-door versus a Bronco two-door it's not even comparable how much advantage there is for trunk space on a two-door Bronco which Marie does has always said you better not get in case one day we have a family yeah <laughs> it is happening right now <laughs> yep so folks yeah, now Marie, do you want to just point out one or two more things in regards to the, the Bronco? Yeah, uh, I never saw the interior of the Wild Track, so I noticed that it's a two-tone. Uh, I call it sand color, yeah. I say, beige sand. So I love it. I'm not that sure about the color, but I guess I will... Uh... Your favorite's the black, black, all black Badlands marine grade vinyl yeah. interior, but you do prefer the grill on the Wild Track? Yeah, the grill on the Wild Track, I guess, is the best. But you prefer, prefer the mags on the Badlands, mm -hmm, from definitely. what you've told me. And I love the, the end all inside that it's uh, orange. This one has a little end all uh, that is blue. Oh, the orange thing is more a uh, sport to me. <laughs> but I, I love it. It's, uh, it's really beautiful. Since when are you a sporty girl? I don't know, <laughs> but Badlands, um, Badass. <laughs> now, so you need orange and 
and the wild track will say sounds wild but yeah the, the interior little gray outline isn't quite if you're looking for something a little more classic you've got something a little more classic on this model you got the two-tone and of course the badlands we do like we did enjoy the stabilizer bar disconnect we used it off-road we had fun with that now here's walk. the badlands front grille and the standard bumper so that is your capable bumper it's half plastic half metal still a good amount of metal some plastic like here still a good bumper but anyways i wanted the full bash plates underneath on the wild track so i ended up going with that other bumper you got the badlands here and that's locked they're pretty much always locked but that's your other color color wise What's going on? Do you think we should have got, gone with the hot pepper? I love the hot pepper, but I guess just because the, the green one has little gold in it, I prefer this, the other one because it's a special color. It's two tones. I know this one is special too, but I guess it's more uh, obvious in, with the green that it's special. <laughs> and honestly, the green looks a lot bigger. Yeah. Like a wild track or a Sasquatch versus a Badlands. The, when you see the Badlands one after the other, a Badlands looks big until you've got the two parked beside each other. Mm -hmm. Are you in agreement with me or you disagree? Yeah, I think I agree on that one. Yeah. It's sometimes we need to agree. It happens. <laughs> now, Lux package is also a way to get a much longer wait time. So we took high package. We still have keyless entry. Basically, the big thing is we don't have the Bang & Olufsen sound system. But I'm thinking of maybe treating the family and getting a sound bar to go over the rear bar. Above. Is it useful? That's the question. Do you like, do we need it? Do you like <laughs> listening to music loudly with a lot of bass? With a baby in the back? I'm not sure we'll do that often. Oh, okay. So when you're alone, maybe, <laughs> driving to work. <laughs> my exciting life is gone. Yeah, if you won't treat the family. You will only treat you. <laughs> right. boring, boring dad jokes and a boring life coming right up. No. Just kidding. <laughs> Buy an awesome car so your life isn't boring. Yeah. And the Bronco is awesome, so no boring life because no boring vehicle. Mm -hmm. Well, do you want to sign off? Yeah, so please like and subscribe to see more of this. And uh, yeah. <laughs> we wish you all more cars and more power and wish you the best of luck with getting your Bronco soon. And always keep in mind constraints, hard top, constraint, luxury package. You can always go, the high package is very nice. You can always throw on a bigger sound bar in the back and truly get some really great sound. Take care, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to feed those poodles. <laughs>